Uranus Butt Factory Sideshow Museum. Won't be getting any tattoos anytime soon, that's for sure. We got some really cool stuff, you guys wouldn't even believe. Found me some candy necklaces to go with my pretty dress that I've been begging for for like three weeks now. Part of the pajama bottoms. We're driving, we're on road trip. I'm on vacation for a day. I'm sorry. We got the toy toy. Look at them. I forgot to press record, Clove. You guys so missed the sword crazy. swallowing because we forgot to press record. We're in the Uranus Fidge Factory. We got the toitos, the toitos. I can't believe I forgot to press record. That's all right, though. It was pretty fantastical, though. Cat did a sword swallowing. Oh, it's double shelves and everything. Yep, yeah. double shelves here, too. Look at this one, Scott. Oh, wow. The toitos, the toitos. Push and pull. That's wild. Little guy. Hello. Push and pull, Shannon. That's the name of the toy doll. Pete and repeat. This is Pete and repeat. Remember when mom used to call <laughs> yeah. us that? That's hilarious. That's what she actually loved us. Guys. Little foot, the snake neck toy. The toy doll. The toy doll. Oh, Look at him. Two That's fat. There's two faces? That's fat. I want your faces. Oh, yeah. That's oh, little. What? The toy. The toy. Next little. Does your baloney have a first name? The toy. The toy. The toy. Can you see him? Ooh, what's that, you guys? Ooh. That's scary. Oh. Oh, you see this one? That's not crazy. That's not real. That's not real. Would you like to stick this in Uranus? No, you like to stick Uranus. Oh, I don't know, but there's 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 no hurt in trying it something one time at least, right? <laughs> This is my last duck. I have no more ducks to give. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's gone. Woohoo! Woo Cheers! Hi! Encore! <laughs> there's more, there's more. Concentrate, concentrate, Larry. Concentrate. Oh, wow, cool. that was neat, Oh, wow. Alright. So we've got the tubes. The tubes. Get over here, the bottom of the glass, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I can see how she's doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's neato. So we take out one bottle. Take out one bottle. <laughs> Trippy. So you're probably saying to yourself. Oh. <laughs> Uncle! Nice. <laughs> Hi. Oh, here we've got the bed of nails. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <sighs> knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cat. Is that you? Yeah! <laughs> That's your day. Have half a breakfast. Mice Krispies. Mice Krispies. Where's Cat get the news? The newspaper. Uh. <laughs> All right. So, let's start off with showing you that this is empty. I'm going to show you that this one's empty. But the combination of the two is not empty. Wow. Groovy. Alright. Sir, how much?
my balls can keep track of. <laughs> I keep track of two all the time. Do you like baseball? Sure. Good, good, good. Because that means you can keep track of four balls. <laughs> well, three. There are three. That means that you should be able to keep track of three balls. Now, if at any point during the course of this performance you lose track of all these balls, there's one, two, three. Four. Zero. <laughs> one, two, three, zero. One, two, three. Balls. <laughs> I, she just wanted to hear you say balls. <laughs> yes, I did. Because I figured that you probably wanted to get out of your system. So anyway, so you struck of all the balls in Uranus. There's a new paddle. That way you're never up a creek without a paddle in Uranus. <laughs> what? I need one of those. I need one of those for strengths. So this is so old, it's in the pyramids. It's in the hieroglyphics. If we're down here, it would be a... Lower glyphic. All right, so you got one ball, one cup. <laughs> so it's one ball, one cup, two balls at the bottom, at the end of it. So we've got two balls underneath there, one ball, two cups. So again, one ball, two cups, two balls at the present time. Again. One ball, two cups. <laughs> so now the balls, yes, all three awesome. balls are underneath there. So we're going to take one away because three minus one is how many? Two. Two, two balls. Two, two balls. <laughs> so is that the number of balls you can usually keep track of? Usually two. Usually two. <laughs> number two is a favorite number in your race. <laughs> <laughs> Uranus is number two on Route 66 in the state of Missouri. <laughs> three balls. So the more balls you have in Uranus, the more fun everyone has. Evidently. <laughs> that's a low ball. And that's low balling. <laughs> but what you should have been doing is paying attention to the cups. Right. All right. Proceeding onward to the, to the final one. street. You suddenly, you're in the bath, okay? You're taking a bath. You suddenly realize a solution to a major problem, okay? You get out of your bath and you run down the street stark naked, shouting, I found it. What would likely happen to you? <laughs> you get shot <laughs> by a jealous woman. <laughs> He's doing it again. Probably getting in trouble, yeah. Yeah, I get shot by a jealous woman. That's exactly what our Archimedes did when he found out about the Archimedes principle. Oh, it was yeah. not named after him at that point, but he discovered it. Oh. It's also kind of like how ships work and how we ever get all kinds of like, you know, fail. Right. Or it's Archimedes really is, is the one who gave us 3.14 as an approximation of pi. The ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. He did that by first drawing a hexagon inside it, then dividing the sides of the hexagon so it's 12, then 24, then 48, then 96. And that was the best approximation of pi until several centuries later. He was only 5% off. If I remember correctly, or something like that. Very low margin of error. So Newton comes along during an actual plague. Like a major, like Black Death. Right. A literal plague. Invents calculus because he's bored. You know, the bar gets kind of set high back then. It must have been really bored. It must have been really bored. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think anyone would be convinced to study calculus while in the middle of a COVID lockdown. 
Scam, scam demic. <laughs> right? Um, anyways, comes up with a better way to do it. Gets the accuracy way out there. You only need to be up accurate to 39 places in cosmetology to predict the, the outcome of the universe. Because at that ratio, at that, at that precision, you're able to get atom level precision. Right. So <laughs> moving forward in time, pi was still considered advanced mathematics. So when electricity became a common thing, they introduced the circular mill and the circular inch so that electricians didn't have to think about pi. Unless it was that true. So all this gets you to the ultimate quest, which is drawing a square that has the same area as a circle. In other words, square and circle. A feat that I can accomplish right here, right in front of you with this very piece of metal, and if you blink, you'll miss it. That was Nico. <laughs> that was awesome. I see the screws. Ta-da! Thank you, Kat. That was lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm still working on the past for that. I just didn't really thought that one. So. I, I liked I thought it was great. This is your project? Uh, which one? This one? Is that what you're talking about? No, uh, yeah. Uh, Shannon, look, it's the Nephilim. Do you use this box? Uh, you see. Now, is this really mummified or turned to limestone, this Nephilim giant? Is it called a Nephilim giant? Nephilim. 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 I have not heard that term in ages. I know. This would be Raphaim. Raphaim, yeah. Azazel? That was a fallen angel, though, close. Everything is either really real or really fake. Yeah. That, isn't but that just how life is? To be really fun. We uh, were discussing how reality is a hoax the other day. I'm curious about this. It's giant. I forgot what that's called, that giantism. <laughs> that's a big shoe for a Nephilim. 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 In a 10 foot long coffin, which had to be carried by 10 men. He was so huge that they had to give him twice the amount of space as a golden Kitty baby, we're alive. The toy dogs, the toy dogs. First time, Joan, and you may never have the chance to do it again. $10,000 Look, Shannon, this would have happened to us if we not split all the way down the middle. The shrunken heads, Clo. See, that would have happened to us, Clo. If we done split. I know. That's See, look, I was talking with her about the flat earth twins <laughs> and the, um, the two headed monkey. <laughs> two headed toidles. Toidles. In Missouri. In Missouri. In Uranus. In <laughs> Uranus, Missouri.
Because they say at the end of the beginning of movie Freaks, it was only by the accident of birth that you yourselves are not in this show. <laughs> Besides you. All the world's indeed a stage. I'll give it that. Oh, it's just got really hot in here. Toidles, the toidles. I know, I'm having fun. I don't want to go. It's six dollars to get in here. Was actually one of the first to use modern camera angles. Oh. And they actually used human oddity performers. Mm -hmm. I think I did watch that one time. I think I yeah, yeah. I think we did. I'm sure we did. We used to be really into this stuff. Yeah, we used to kind of want to like go on the road and be at a freak show. We could have pretended we were Siamese twins. If I may make that suggestion for Halloween this year, we could be Siamese twins for Halloween this year. Just up at Daisy invited Hilton. Like get two flapper costumes and sew them together. There you go, flapper. Like right yeah, over here. see there you go. And oh, then that'd be so fun to be up. Oh yeah, a twin. Yeah, so do fun. that. Yep. Daisy fact, and Violet Hilton. In fact, the, movie, okay. the, the musical sideshow was about the Hilton sisters. Cool. And they actually had two actresses that had to uh, learn each other's body movements. Right, right. To uh, get in sync enough. To be able to cool. walk correctly. <laughs> and the Hilton sisters were in the movie, 1932 movie, Freaks. Okay, is, cool, cool. Which has actually been remade about two times already. Wow. One in the 1960s with a B remake called She Freak, which actually had a two headed baby in it. And one in the 2010s with Matt Frazier, the Seal Boy. Oh my, Seal Boy. Oh my gosh. It's scary. That's cool. Matt Frazier's pretty cool. Uh, he's actually a drummer. Oh, oh nice. Really? I, love, cool. I love me so some drummers. Not only does his hands come right off his shoulders, but he's able to drum. That's really, really crazy cool. Wow, so talented. Uh, that's neato. That's really cool. <laughs> that's really amazing information. What's your favorite? If you had a shark, I got to see me that. Nephilim. Excuse me. Just for shits and giggles. Wow. Just to see if the other guy would. Just to see if the other guy would pay over ten thousand dollars. It's neat. That's that's her favorite. That's too I think it'd be my favorite too. After that, the uh, two headed turtles. Yep, me too. The two headed turtles for sure. I like those too. Most people, it's the other way around. Is it? Do you like the turtles better? But I like that shark because it gives you a glimpse into the mindset of the sideshow owner. That and this is my mind. The, the guy wanted that shark so badly, and hit for his competitor not to have it, that he outlaid over ten thousand dollars. Wow! <laughs> if he had spent the ten thousand dollars differently. This museum might not exist. It's fascinating. That's because so fascinating. If he had spent that money on like a new truck or down payment on a new truck, he would not have had the catastrophic breakdowns that he had in the years following that acquisition and would still be out there on the road right now. Whoa. So stuff like that, the butterfly effect. Yeah, really. 
small little tiny choices you make. Yeah, we're ready. All right. Here in a spud factory, freak show museum. What is that thing there? What this? Those two <laughs> things. Um. Definitely a penis. Got yeah. Me. Well, what's the on the head there, Nago? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Crazy. This is a baby spunkin elephant. What a trip. Three had a toy doll. It's topsy turvy. Ready? Jump. <laughs> Up, down, touch the ground. <laughs> topsy turvy <laughs> worlds. <laughs> No, I put it there, no go club. T-Rex is a hoax. That was, that was